Hello, hello, hello. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are in this beautiful world. Thank you for stopping by my channel once again. This is our weekly review of the chakra energies that we pulled during the week. So this is our week three review, which is January 15th to the 21st. So, so this is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if spirit has led you here, or if you, your higher self, your guides, or even if someone shared this message with you, then there is something for you to hear. And even though these are the re weekly reviews, these are all intended to be timeless. So whenever you click on this video to watch it, there is a message in there for you to hear. So I thank you once again for stopping by my channel and let's take a look at what we got for week three. So as you see on Saturday, there was the strengthening the root chakra, the activity of it. This is card number 19, and I will read this. If you struggle with sitting meditation, you could try walking meditations. Mindful walking can help to deepen your connection to the earth through your body. You could try mindful walking on grass, sand, or dirt while barefoot to recharge your energy with the earth. This can also mean spending more time in nature and reconnecting with the earth. So, I feel that, so on that day, I connected with my root chakra by actually going for a walk and having a mindful walk. So, um, so last Saturday, think back to what you did and how, what activity there was, or if, you know, you even had anything that was along this line of connecting with the root chakra. So on Sunday, we got the number six card, chakras and yoga. And for the past two Sundays in a row, we have received this message. In yoga, the life force energy, also known as prana, travels through the body in a series of channels called nadi. These channels intersect at points of intensified energy called chakras. When energy becomes blocked, it triggers physical, mental, or emotional imbalance that manifests in symptoms such as anxiety, lethargy, or poor digestion. An easy way to align, open, and unblock your chakras is through yoga. This can help move energy in your body. So, because this came out, and this is a card number six, um, because that came out, you know, two Sundays in a row, I feel like what um, this was just saying was having us to, you know, move our bodies, even though Sundays are, you know, considered to be a day of rest, it was encouraging us to get out and move our bodies. And so, um, yoga is the best way to get your energies flowing through your chakras and so that was that's the message that I feel was coming through for that particular day now on Monday we received the solar plexus essential oils card and this says to open the solar plexus, try burning fiery incense and essential oils like saffron, musk, sandalwood, ginger, and cinnamon. So, uh, and that is the card 38. So on Monday, um, our solar plexus chakra was coming through and um, basically just telling us to give it some sort of stimulation and 
So a way that I realized how that worked in my life was I had actually um, lit a yellow candle before I had even pulled that card. And so um, that was kind of the confirmation of the solar plexus chakra coming through. So think back to, on, to Monday and, um, you know, see if there was anything... Um, you know, that came through, like, as far as, like, maybe you burned incense, or maybe you smelled something, maybe you had some food with ginger in it, or, you know, something to that effect. That was your solar plexus chakra coming through. So, 38, and that is an 11. So, um, I don't know if you will remember, but maybe you saw 11, 11 that day. Maybe not. <laughs> but, um, that is, that was the energy for Monday, um, the 17th. So that was the Martin Luther King holiday as well. So on Tuesday, our crown chakra came through. So the crown chakra, Sahasrara, that one always feels funny saying, but I like it. Um, this chakra is located at the crown of the head. This chakra is the source of enlightenment and our connection to the divine. So on Tuesday, you probably had some sort of mental stimulation going on. Maybe your intuition came through. Maybe you had some sort of spiritual thing happen to you. Um, that is a card 86 depending on if that number means anything to any of you. But um, on Tuesday, it was our crown chakra. Maybe you had a headache. Um, maybe, you know, you um, got a new idea or, you know, something to that effect. So um, that was the energy of Tuesday, January 18th, just in case. Um just for, you know, your own review to see how you were feeling that day. Now, on Wednesday, January 19th, we got two cards. So, the first card that was pulled was grounding the chakras. So, let's pull this. So, music and free expression with dance is a great way to recharge and harmonize your chakras. Dance freely to awaken your inner self. Don't worry about any outside influence other than your own feelings in this moment. Once you have tried this out, take a lie down and notice how inspired and harmonious you feel. So on Wednesday, all of our chakras were coming through to tell us to ground ground our chakras and turn on some music and dance and just, you know, love and be one with life. And the second card that came out with that was number 16, a root chakra affirmation. I am at home in my own body. So as kind of a double message that definitely goes perfectly with the grounding the chakras, you know, how it says to dance freely and don't worry about any outside influence. You know, when you are at home in your own body, then no outside influence is able to come in and, you know, shake your root. So, um, these two cards came through on Wednesday. So, think back to on Wednesday, were you, was there something that made you have to reconfirm that you are comfortable with yourself and that you love yourself? Um, was there music that you listened to that made you want to dance? Um, anything to that effect that was your chakras coming through and your root chakra coming through to say, I am at home in my own body and, you know, the rest of your chakras being grounded. So... Now we move on to Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thursday, the heart chakra, Anahata, came through. And this chakra says, this chakra is located at the center of the chest. So 
chakra right there, rather than where the heart is. This chakra colors are life with compassion, love, and beauty. So, on Thursday, and this is number 48, so on Thursday, our heart chakra was coming through just to make itself known, really, and um, to remind us to be compassionate, to love ourselves, and to see beauty in all things. So um, on Thursday, this was um, January 20th, so if there was anything that happened throughout your day that you just, you know, happened to see something in a new light or, um, you know, perhaps you just felt really confident in yourself or, you know, something to the to that effect of you feeling more love and compassion and seeing more beauty in the world. So think back to that day to see how you were feeling. Now, um, on Friday, January 21st, so yesterday, the third eye chakra, Ajna, came through. And this chakra is located in the space between the eyebrows. This chakra is closely associated with the pituitary gland, eyes, ears, nose, nervous system, and the brain. So that is a card number 74, which is a number 11 as well. And so we got two 11s this week. So 11, 11 came through during our week. And I do remember, um, I did actually see 11, 11 yesterday. And so after I had pulled this card and spoke about it, so I thought that was a a synchronicity that was pretty awesome but with so yesterday with our third eye coming through um, since this card is talking about the pituitary gland eyes ears nose nervous system and the brain um, then you probably like think back to see if you know maybe there was something going on with your eyes your ears, your nose, um, did you have any pressure in between your eyebrows, your brain, did you feel foggy, um, in your nervous system, uh, you know, something to that effect, or I mean, it really could have been something simple as you saw 1111, um, but just think back to yesterday, Friday, Friday, January 21st, and see, you know, how this card applied, and three of these cards, it's the, you know, chakras just coming through and giving us basic information about them, and so, um, you know, it seems like they, the chakras are just coming through and, uh, making themselves known. <laughs> so um, just, you know, think back to see if any of these applied to or how they applied to your week. And um, then you will start to be more intuitive and be more in tune with your chakras and how they come through to you um, personally. So Thank you for tuning in to this week three review. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a beautiful weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.